Okay. Uh, Pachka or Pachikucha or Pachechka, uh, everyone pronounces it slightly different wherever you are in the world. Um, I still haven't gotten an official pronunciation from the creators in Japan. Uh, it's a very simple process, uh, way of presenting. Uh, you have 20 slides, 20 seconds apiece. Slides advance automatically. No going forward, no going backwards. You have six minutes and 40 seconds to say your piece and then sit down. Uh, this format of presenting is very difficult. Uh, all slides are created equal. Um, any of the presenters up here have been using this clicker to advance their slides. I don't have that luxury here. I'm going 20, 20, 20. Uh, it was created by Astrid Klein and Mark Dietham uh, in Japan, a pair of architects that wanted to find a new forum to show uh, the world there are architectural designs. It has since expanded to 393 cities worldwide. That was whenever I did the presentation last night. More specifically, I'm going to talk about how Pekachka Tampa, uh, Tampa Bay has, in my way, helped make Tampa Bay uh, a better place to live. Of these slides, none of them were original ideas from Pekachka. Um, but what I like to think of Pekachka, I came up with this earlier today, was that's a blank slide, is that uh, um, Pekachka is kind of the rough draft of your idea, whereas TEDx is more your final draft. People come to Pekachka to talk about unique ideas, unique thoughts, and start to hash out their ideas. You missed the slide earlier. It was about a presentation I did for a sidewalk under the viaduct of the Crosstown Expressway. Two months later, the MPO, um, a news article came out with the MPO saying that they were experimenting with the idea of a sidewalk under the viaduct. I checked the guest list. They attended the Pekachka. Um, uh, volume 4, Studio 620, uh, Peter Kagiyama, um, who presented earlier tonight on his uh, For the Love of Cities, you'll see the caption here, Renewing Our Love Affair for the City. This was Peter's original idea that he experimented with in Pekachka uh, a year, almost a year and a half ago. He called me up and said, I have this idea that I'm trying to hash out. Do you mind giving me a spot? He came up uh, a year later. Uh, for the Love of Cities came out. The presentation that he gave tonight is very similar to the Pekachka, but it's so much more fine-tuned now. The Pekachka, he was experimenting with his ideas. Some ideas came through. Some ideas, you know, fell aside. Uh, volume 6 at Mise en Place, a good friend of mine, Jeremy Monette, uh, talked about the power of educational travel. He's a high school teacher in Hillsborough County, and he sees kids like this all day. They're just bored to death. Um, so he started a company, uh, CJI uh, um, Classroom Global Initiative, and in four weeks, uh, me, him, and four other teachers are taking over 30 students, uh, high school students, to London and Ireland to get them out of the classroom and learn about the city. And how, that, how can that make a city of Tampa better? These people are going to ride mass transit, they're going to understand mixed use, they're going to understand what a real city does. Uh, volume 3, Parking Day. Uh, this was at the Don Vicente. The organizers of Parking Day in Tampa came to me and said, we'd like to present our idea. This is not my idea. It's not, in fact, not theirs. It was started in San Francisco by a group called Rebar. Uh, that year, which was about two years ago, we had the second most Parking Day spaces in the world. Uh, a, a modest number of 12 parking spaces dotted through downtown Tampa with people uh, doing lemonade stand, scrabble, playing poker in a parking space in downtown. The idea is you take a parking space and you turn it into a park uh, for one time. Uh, Hampton uh, Dorman, he's, I think he's in the other room. He came up and he started this idea, think small to think big. It's, a, it's an idea that Pekachka shares with him. He presented this uh, about six months ago. In the meantime, since then, he's applied for a grant and received the grant to distribute micro-grants to uh, collective people in the community, a series of $500 grants that can go out to different artists that put on events or other creative people. Uh, he's in the other room. I'm sure he'd be happy to talk to you, I think. <laughs> Um, and you see the, uh, the next one is um, Volume 8. We just had this uh, two weeks ago. It was given by uh, Will Albritton, who is the gentleman on the right. His speech had nothing to do with uh, being creative or inventing anything. He really talked about what it's like to be a big guy living in a city and how difficult it is to be a big guy. 
But from that event, he saw the creative community and what he decided to do was he started this event in Fresno, California called Swede Fest. And he's now talking to me and talking to Creative Tampa Bay, Creative Loafing, about uh, bringing this event to Tampa, which should be in October. If you don't know what a Swede is, I suggest you look it up online. It's a cool idea. Um, the most important thing for Pikachka in the last two years that I've been doing this, we've done eight versions in two years. We do about four a year, is all of the uh, cool creative people that I've met in Tampa Bay. Um, I was not really into Tampa Bay uh, about until about two years ago when I started doing this. I realized that the city has a wealth of creative individuals all looking for a format to exercise their ideas and come out with new inspirations and, and drive their ideas to an audience. In six minutes and 40 seconds, you can say a lot. And I think I have a few more seconds. There we go. So uh, you see, it's, it's awkward. It's very difficult to present this way. Um, volume 9 is going to be July 22nd, Studio 620, uh, Bob Dylan's space. Uh, we have great people presenting. Uh, some gentlemen that just won a competition for putting swings all throughout uh, Tampa Bay, which is a great idea. And I think I just hit a button. Nope, I'm done. Thank you very much.